seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine full power and lift off of USSF sixty seven. Go Falcon Heavy. Go Space Force. plus 40 seconds into flight under the power of 5 million pounds of thrust. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. Now we did throttle down the engines around the T plus 40 second Vehicle mark. supersonic. In preparation for max Q. Max Q. And great call out there that we have passed through max Q. Main engine cutoff of the center core here in just a few seconds. Sub booster separation. Hey. Side core booster startup. Center E9 engine. Each one of these M1D engines have about 190,000 pounds of thrust. So that is enough to slow the vehicle down just in time for landing. And you could see the coast of Florida in the background. Side boosters are transonic. Now that landing burn coming up here in just about 20 seconds or so. Landing burn will last about 20 seconds long. Again, we are scheduled to land on landing zone one and landing Bruce zone two. Landing burn. And there are those landing burns have begun on the side boosters. So let's watch as they touch down. Stage two is on thermal guidance. Stage two FTS is saved. Booster landing leg deployed. Incredible sight to see as we watch the Both side boosters touch down for landing. That confirms successful landing of both Falcon Heavy side boosters on landing zone one and landing zone two. Now with these two side boosters, this marks the 163rd and 164th overall successful landing of an orbital class rocket. It's also the 25th landing on landing zone one and the sixth landing on landing zone down. two. Falcon Heavy is in startup. There we go. Falcon Heavy has just entered the startup phase. Go for launch. And with confirmation of go for launch from our launch director, Falcon Heavy is ready to go to space at T minus 37 seconds with the Viasat 3 mission. We are 30 seconds into flight under the power of 5 million pounds of thrust. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. 
Now we are throttling down our engines on those side boosters and that's in preparation for max Q. Power and telemetry nominal. Max Q is the moment of peak mechanical stress. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. Peak mechanical stress on the vehicle. So we do slow down the vehicle to get through this period of high stress. And once we pass through Max Q, we will throttle those engines back up on those side boosters. Max Q. Coming up in about a minute or just under a minute will be Biko. That's booster engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down the engines on the side boosters, and then we will separate the side boosters from the center core. And as a reminder, we are not landing our side boosters or center core today due to performance needed on today's mission. And you can see on your right-hand screen, we do have a view of the separation mechanisms from the center core to the side boosters. And Biko, or booster engine cutoff, is coming up here in a few seconds. And that engine chill has started. Booster engine cutoff. Side booster separation confirmed. Both side boosters, FTS is safe. Great views there. We had Biko booster engine cutoff, and we watched as those side boosters, and you could see them there on your screen, those side boosters falling Vehicle away. Vehicle following a nominal trajectory. Falling away from Falcon Heavy's center core. Falcon Heavy is in startup. There is that call out that Falcon Heavy is in startup mode. With that, the only thing left is to hear Mission Control Launch Director give us the final go for launch. Falcon Heavy, go for launch. Great news out of Mission Control. So with just a little bit more than 30 seconds to go, all systems are go for the launch of Falcon Heavy and our Jupiter-3 spacecraft. T-minus 30 seconds. Seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and lift off. Go Falcon Heavy, go Falcon 9, go Falcon Heavy, go Echo Star. Stage one, chamber pressure is nominal. We are just over 30 seconds into flight under the power of over 5 million pounds of thrust and Falcon Heavy is on its way to space. Right now, we're throttling down in preparation for max Q, which is, of course, the moment of peak. Power and telemetry nominal. Call outs there that power and telemetry are both looking good for Falcon Heavy. Again, what we're preparing for next is max Q, which is the peak mechanical stress on the rocket. So that is a critical, Falcon supersonic. critical flight milestone for us today. And with that supersonic call out, we know that Falcon Heavy is moving faster than the speed of sound. We'll have great views for you on the right-hand side of your screen. Side booster separation confirmed. Side core separation. There we've had confirmation of side core separation there. And shortly those side boosters are going to begin the first of three burns prior booster to landing back, start up. back on land. There's the call out that we've had boost back begin. We're gonna have several things happen in quick succession here. So some of the things we're looking for are Miko on our main engine and then those two entry and landing burns of the side boosters. On your screen right now, we have views, views of both of those side boosters on their way back to Earth. Both side boosters are transonic. Booster engine 
boosters are in transonic on their way back to land at LZs one and two. Five through landing burn. Landing burn has started. Five booster landing leg deploy. Dual side booster landing confirmed. Falcon Heavy is in startup. Good call out that the Falcon Heavy is in startup. Now we're going to get the go at T minus 45 seconds. Go for launch. We are go for launch. All systems are go to send the Psyche spacecraft to deep space. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. And here we go with the final seconds of launch. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, engine ignition. And lift off. Lift off of Falcon Heavy and Psyche on a mission to a metal asteroid in deep space to study the building blocks of our planet's inner space. Vehicles pitching down range. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. Vehicles looking good, pitching down range. They're all telemetry looks really good so far, Daryl. So we see a beautiful view of uh, the Falcon Heavy and uh, center core and side boosters there. Data is looking really good. All 27 engines of the Falcon Heavy putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Standing by now for booster engine cutoff for those side boosters. The center core booster will continue on. Booster engine cut off. Side booster separation confirmed. Great shot there of the side boosters Three coming off the rocket. MVAC engine chill has started. Through a thin Three layer of clouds. We hear the call out for transonic. <laughs> Landing burn has started. Here it comes. I don't know, Daryl, but that uh, that sonic boom was great for us. I'm sure Jim is excited over there. There's the second one. I'm sure the host desk over there is feeling that really well. Literally, our monitors were shaking as yep. those both those boosters broke the sound barrier. And we just heard booster landing confirmed, as we see on the screen, both uh, back landing down. zone one and two. Everything looks great.